All right, Brooke, what game are we playing today? Telepathy Magic Minds. Sweet. And do you like Telepathy Magic Minds? <laughs> yeah. Why? Because it's thinking and it's simple and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's thinky. Well, what are you thinking about? You're trying to guess what the other person has picked on their board. Oh, well, let's take a look at the boards. Now, there are a lot of things. How on earth are you going to guess what somebody has picked on their board? From narrowing it down and guessing before. All right. Well, why don't you show us how it's done? Okay. So, to start, you will take one of these, and you will pick one square on the board. So, for example? I'll choose H11, the blue um, crystal ball. So, I'm going to put a little star on that so I remember it. So, you know what you guess. Yes. But then I will also write it on here. That's the Row best way to know what you... H, column, 11, blue crystal ball. Okay. And so this will stand in front of me so the other person cannot see my board. So they don't know what you guess. So each of you guess a secret one. Mm -hmm. You write it down. All right, let's guess a secret one for this other person. Hmm. What should we have it be? Uh, I will tell you even though you shouldn't know. Let's go with M. Is that 14? A green crystal ball? Green crystal ball. And each board has four of the same item and color. So there's four green crystal balls out there, for example. Yes. Okay. So we got that all set up. We know what we are. Okay. Then how do you play? Now, it's just simple yes or no questions. Okay. One person will start and say, like, D4 brown ace of spades. D4 brown ace of spades. And I look at my thing, and I don't have a row D, or column 4, or brown, or ace of spades. So I would say, no. no. If you had one right out of any of those, then you would say yes. Okay. So for then, example, if you had guessed a green ace of spades, and mine happens to be green, I would say yes. Yes. All right. And then how do you mark it? I like to cross off, wait, what did I guess this? I cross off the actual thing that I guessed. I cross off the row and column, plus the color, and the object. So you know that it is not any of those four things. Yes, and then I can narrow it down from all of that. So you just whittle down, whittle down, whittle down. What do you do when it's time for your final guess? When you think that you have it right, you say, this is my final guess, and you will say what their like, little square is. And if you got it right, you win. And if you got it wrong, the other person wins. Oh, it all comes down to that, whether you can really <laughs> read their mind or not. Sweet. Well, you really like it then, huh? Yeah. Nice. Well, tell us a little bit more about what makes it a good game. Well, it's really short. It's only a two-player game, so like you can play it between like five or ten minutes, and then if you lose, then you can challenge them to another game. Yeah. <laughs> because it's not that long. No. And it doesn't take much strategy, because I'm not very good at strategy games. <laughs> <laughs> So something that's light, quick, easy, nice and simple to pull out, mm -hmm. and you can play a lot of things back to back. Oh, yeah. I like all of those. And this is one that even mom has really liked, huh? Mm-hmm. Sweet. And I like those kind of games. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> all right, what would you rate Telepathy Magic Minds? I would rate it a four. All right, fantastic. Thanks, Brooke. You're welcome.